So, gaming keyboards seem to be my next best friend nowadays. I seem to be. Oh, camera doesn't see. Oh, are we okay? Are you okay? I think my camera's fine. It just had a moment. Gaming keyboards seem to be my next best friend at the moment. I seem to be reviewing a lot of them, an absolute ton of them, because new companies are coming off with new designs, new ideas. And of course, I'm more than happy to review them because gaming keyboards, well, I game every day near enough. So I, I would like to say someone who's going to review a gaming keyboard, specifically gaming keyboard, should have some characteristics or knowledge of level or any form of gaming at all when it comes to keyboards, just so you can give a little bit more of a honest review if you know what i mean like if someone uses a keyboard day in and day out fair enough they also have the availability but for someone who never used a keyboard in their life but has a youtube channel maybe not the best of uh, people to choose so i'm very glad that they decided to send this over and for me to review it so let's get into it So, like I said about this, we do have a slight amount of some magnets going on here that do stick to the actual side of the keyboard. So you don't have to have uh, any worries about, you know, these sticking around or, you know, you've got extra little clips here and there. You don't have to worry about that. Just simply, and you're done. Simple. So the keyboard itself. So we do have the all white design going on here as well as some, and the blackout, not blackout, uh, the grayed out keys. This has allowed the RGB to actually shine through properly. So like I was saying about this, so very generic keyboard here, apart from obviously we've got a little bit more compressed keyboard that we've got. So we've still got the directional arrows as well as the full num lock going on here and the number pad. We do have quite a handy little mute and unmute button going on here, as well as quite a cool little volume scroller. You don't really see that with mechanical keyboards. Um, so that's definitely something quite cool. You do have a little scroll here to control your volume on the keyboard, you know, if you're playing games and all that good stuff. But the one thing I really did like is that to actually control the different RGB functions, you know, obviously you can go for the user manual, it'll tell you exactly how you do it, but we do have them on the board itself. It's going to tell you how to turn the uh, different light settings on and features, which we're going to go through in just a second. We're going to go for the full lot. So as we can see on the keys here, we do have a couple little uh, speed arrows. Then we do have a uh, light and sync up there as well as a few others. So what we're going to do is go straight into showing you all the different functions for the RGB and we'll go from there. But first of all, we need to have a look at the back of the, of the actual keyboard. So at the back of the keyboard is very generic, so we do have all plastic design, we do have the on off button as well as, um, oh, we do have a little on off switch going on there as well as the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi button going on there, so if you want to use a Bluetooth function or cabled, uh, you can do, because we do have a little USB dongle going on in the back here, so very much a little generic little Bluetooth dongle going on there, this keyboard does come with three different Bluetooth settings, so you can choose what devices you connect to, whether that be you know, a phone, then your laptop and a PC. So you can have all connected and you just switch between which one you want. But we do have double rubber feet going on here with double, with two different sizes. So the rubber feet do come in small little sizes as well as large. So you do have a selection of which ones you want. So obviously it depends on how you wanna actually sit with this. So what we're gonna do now is knock all the lights off and we'll do a little RGB test. So we'll do that now.
So, at first, I was actually going to say no to this review just because the matter of fact of it's a white keyboard. I don't like white. Well, I don't like a white keyboard. I prefer dark and minimalistic. But when I first got out of the box, oh my god. It was, it was unbelievable. I was more than happy that it actually turned up. And I think... I think I'm going to be swapping this out for the Logitech G915. Logitech G915 is an incredible keyboard. Absolutely ridiculous price for what you get. But I think I might have to swap over to this just for the matter of fact that it is really cool. It is really nice. And it actually fits with the theme my setup with the white case and all that good stuff. So I think what I'm going to do is swap this out for a bit. I'm going to get rid of the G915. It's going to go back in this box. I'm going to start using this for the next few weeks. Properly gaming on it, editing with it daily usage all that good stuff and then again i'll come up and if i've got any issues which i very much doubt i will i'll pop them in the comment section below just so you can have a heads up but i have to admit absolute incredible keyboard if you want to go check one out yourself or some of their other designs please do check the links in the description all the information is there as always don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell and as always have a great day